relaxed rhythms are his specialty. Sasha Stroschka, better known in Saarbrücken as DJ Curly Boo. The 31-year-old has been DJing for more than 10 years. He likes his sounds to be laid back and leisurely, like the city that is his home. I think Saarbrücken is really chilled. It's nice and small. You don't have to walk very far to get anywhere. You've got everything you need. There are loads of chilled out places in Saarbrücken, loads of great parties. For me, Saarbrücken is just like my music. One of the places he recommends for a visit is a district called the Nauwieser Quarter, one of the few areas of the city not to have been destroyed in World War II. Nauwiese Quarter is one of the bolt holes in the center of Saarbrücken. A tiny district where you can just sit down and relax. When the sun's shining like today, it's great to be here. But if you've decided you only want to spend 10 minutes here, be warned that you could still be here a couple of hours later. That's one of the great things about this place. The narrow streets of the late 19th century quarter are perfect for strolling through and there are an abundance of cafes to tempt you. With all its little shops, the district really feels like a village within the city. The DJ likes to come here to meet his friends for a chat, especially after long and tiring nights at the turntable. I'm going to show you something now. It looks like an antique shop, but it's actually something very different. Die Winzer, or the Vintners, is Sasha's second tip. It's a place where you can buy antiques and works of art, but most people come to sample the wines on offer. It's a place that attracts artists and civil servants, bus drivers and entrepreneurs. Everyone is made to feel welcome here. All you need to bring along is a cheerful spirit and a love of wine. Taking care of the jolly atmosphere and keeping those glasses full is Wolfgang Rieb. The French-German owner of Die Winzer built the shop up from nothing and has a story to tell about each of the items for sale. He also has an anecdote or two to tell about the wines and is a personal friend of almost all his suppliers. Sascha Stroschka's third recommendation takes us to a former grain silo on an industrial estate. The owner has built up what I call an art silo with more or less no cash. People bring stuff along to help out, or they just generally help him get the project off the ground. There are always artists working here. They make some really crazy things, and I like it, because it isn't pretentious, and there's nothing else like it anywhere. The industrial ruin on the banks of a tributary of the River Tsar has been brought back to life, and now houses galleries, a movie theater, and studios. The space encompasses a total of nine floors, where you can watch artists at work, as well as enjoy exhibitions, films, and video installations in an unusual setting. And at weekends, the art silo is transformed into a salon, where you can begin the evening in typical chilled out Saarbrücken fashion. And with any luck, It'll be Zasha Stroschka, alias DJ Curly Boo, working the decks.